This video is sponsored by Tello Mobile. So here we have the Oppo Find X2 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. These are two phones which you're going to see launching internationally very soon. Both are very similar in specs and size and made by brands with a shared parent company. So which one should you actually think about buying? Let's take a look at the differences and see how they shape up. First up, the basic physicality of these phones. They're very similar sizes, officially they're 6.7 and 6.78 inches diagonally, but side by side there's very little in it. And that extends to the hole punch selfie camera utilised in both models, which is around the same in both size and placement. The materials and finish of these two phones varies wildly though, depending on your own personal choices. On the OnePlus side you'll be getting matte brushed glass unless you go for the more boring glossy black option, and on the Oppo side the Find X2 Pro is available in vegan leather, basically fancy plastic, but a material that gives it a unique feel and helps with grip. There's also a ceramic finish if you want a more traditional look and feel on this phone. On paper the Find X2 Pro is the heavier of the two, though this will of course depend on which back panel option you go for. Either way the difference in weight is not that noticeable. Both phones also boast IP68 water and dust resistance for added peace of mind, and both have excellent biometrics with face unlock and fast reliable in-screen fingerprint. Core specs are pretty similar too, with a Snapdragon 865 powering the show and 5G support included as standard. There's a slight edge in RAM and storage for the Find X2 Pro, although Oppo misses out on dual SIM support in the West if that's something that you care about. The biggest spec similarity though is the expansive display, with similar numbers and equally impressive brightness and smoothness thanks to that 120Hz refresh rate. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if this was literally the same panel being used in both devices, it is that similar. Both even have basically the same feature for upscaling lower frame rate content to a silky smooth 120fps. Battery is a bit of a different story though. On paper, the OnePlus 8 Pro wins with its 45 10mAh cell versus the 4200 and change in the Find X2 Pro. That's not an insignificant difference, but using these two side by side, I haven't really noticed much of a battery life deficit in the Find X2 Pro. Both devices have performed very similarly, getting me a full day with around 4 to 5 hours of screen on time, and you can of course extend that by limiting yourself to a 60Hz refresh rate in either model. More meaningful difference here though lies in how you actually charge these phones. The Oppo Find X2 Pro lacks wireless charging which is disappointing, but its wired charging speeds are next level fast. With the bundle's 65 watt charger you'll go from dead to 100% in just over half an hour, so expect to be able to get a usable day's charge in a very short amount of time, even if you wake up with the battery level in the danger zone. On the OnePlus side you of course get that larger battery, but with slower charging speeds over a cable. That said, OnePlus's Warp Charge 30T is still impressively quick, as is the ability to get those speeds over wireless charging now with a new Warp Charge wireless dock. That's a revelation in terms of fast wireless refills. Software is arguably the biggest area of divergence between these two phones. Sure, they both run Android 10, but that's really where the similarities end. ColorOS and OxygenOS are both very pleasant to use, but with very different design languages, feature sets and priorities. OnePlus's software prioritises a clean look and feel and speed above all else. It's about as close as you can get to a Google Pixel experience in a phone that doesn't ship with pure Android. OnePlus gives you features like Zen Mode to help you decompress from the digital world. There are countless customization options as well, and closer integration with a lot of Google services like Assistant and Photos. On the ColorOS side, there's a more opinionated approach to Android software design, with Oppo's own design language bringing light whites and greens into the foreground, and there are some neat multitasking features too, including a windowed mode for certain chat apps. It's also worth considering each brand's update track record here as well. OnePlus has consistently been very fast to update its devices to new Android versions, whereas in the past, Oppo has taken a few extra months to work in ColorOS features. So basically, don't expect the Find X2 Pro to get Android 11 anywhere near as fast as the OnePlus 8. The biggest feature difference outside of software has to do with the camera setup, and it's the clearest example here of what your extra money gets you in the Find X2 Pro. While both phones share the same main camera sensor and a similar ultra-wide shooter, the big gain on the Oppo side is the 5x telephoto, which holds up pretty well even in 10x hybrid zoom mode. With the OnePlus 8 Pro you get a 3x telephoto that's barely changed from last year's OnePlus 7 Pro. The Find X2 Pro's extra zoom capabilities let you get closer to your subjects, capturing photos that often don't look like they were taken with a smartphone. The extra versatility that you can get from this is pretty huge. 
By comparison, picture quality from the OnePlus telephoto camera often tails off at around 5x. Outside of zoom, picture quality from both phones' cameras is extremely similar on account of the common camera hardware lurking inside. The differences, such as they are with the ultra-wide and standard cameras, are more about the intricacies of how each phone processes the image. OnePlus tends to output images that look a little darker, whereas Oppo favours brighter images even if this occasionally means that shadows get a bit over-brightened. Both camera apps are pretty full-featured too with dedicated night modes and excellent software video stabilisation at up to 4K resolution. Before we wrap up, a word from this video's sponsor, Tello. Are you ready to lower your phone bill for yourself, for your spouse or your teen? With Tello, the average phone bill falls under $20 a month, plus you can change your phone plan at any time with no fees whatsoever. Tello is designed to save you money and has something for everybody. For your teen, unlimited talk and text, plus 1GB of data for only $10 per month. That'll give them a basic phone service with access to data when they're away from Wi-Fi. For the average American, unlimited talk and text, plus 4 gigs of data for only $19 a month to fully enjoy their phone without overpaying for what they don't use. And for the data-hungry professional, unlimited talk, text and data for $39 a month. Unlike most MVNOs, all Tello plans include free hotspot. If you're ready for a no-nonsense wireless provider, head on over to Tello.com, check coverage in your area and if your current phone works with Tello. You get to keep the number you love and enjoy a ton of savings. So when you look at these two phones, the biggest and most important difference here might be the price. If you're buying unlocked, you'll likely find the Find X2 Pro on sale for a couple hundred extra of your local currency compared to the OnePlus 8 Pro, and so you'll be forced to ask yourself if that extra zoom level on the camera, the extra storage and base RAM, and the faster charging are really worth the pretty significant bump in price. Or maybe you want wireless charging, or you just prefer OnePlus's software experience. I couldn't blame you there. There's a reason Oxygen OS frequently ranks among the top Android skins, and so there's really no wrong answer here. Personally though, I'm more than willing to trade in the wireless charging and slightly smaller battery for the extra versatility that Oppo's camera setup gets me. That's it for now, stay tuned and subscribe to Android Central here on YouTube, and check out our video reviews of both these phones for more detail. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.